BC 5000 VET contains a touchscreen with a user-friendly software. The power status indicator shows the status of the analyzer. The user can load the sample through the sample probe after pressing the aspirate key. You can switch on BC 5000 VET from the rear. The waste sensor can monitor the liquid level and alarm the user before the waste is full. The diff lice and LH lice are located inside the left door. BC 5000 VET has four USB ports which are able to connect with different accessories such as the Wi-Fi adapter, printer, keyboard, mouse, barcode reader and etc. There is also a LAN port supporting bi-directional LIS. Currently, BC 5000 VET can support more than 16 animal species including dog, cat, horse, rat, mouse, rabbit, monkey, camel, pig, cow, sheep, goat, llama, panda, ailurus, and ferret. Meanwhile, 20 self-programmed species are supported as well. Please use clean EDTAK2 or EDTAK3 anticoagulant collection tubes to collect venous blood samples and be sure to collect at least 0.5 milliliters of blood every time. You may enter the patient information including sample ID, name, age, gender and etc. while whole blood is the default setting. Mix the sample well and run it through the sample probe. Remove the sample tube after you hear a beep sound. Click the diluent dispensing icon. Then present a clean tube to the sample probe. Press the aspirate key to dispense 480 microliter diluents. To continue with diluent dispensing, repeat the steps. Click Cancel after preparing all the diluents. Add 20 microliters of capillary blood or venous blood to the diluent. Close the tube cap and mix it properly. After mixing the capillary sample with the diluent, be sure to wait 3 minutes and remix it before running the pre-diluted sample within 30 minutes after the mixing. You may enter the sample information including sample ID, name, age, gender and etc. and select the pre-dilute mode accordingly. Note that the pre-dilute mode is only available for species rat and mouse. Mix the pre-diluted sample well and run it through the sample probe. Remove the sample tube after you hear the beep sound. After the analyzer stays idle for a certain amount of time, which is 15 minutes by default, dialog box will pop up, prompting entering standby status. You may exit the standby status by simply pressing the aspirate key or tapping on the screen. Bar charts of the reference ranges can be shown by tapping the parameters. To close the bar charts, tap the parameters again. You can review the sample results either in tables by tapping Table Review or in graphs by tapping Graph Review. For unwanted sample results, select and tap Delete. To print, select the sample records and then tap Print. You can also select Auto Print in the Setup menu to print out the report automatically. If you would like to further analyze some sample results, tap Export after inserting a flash disk. If the parameter is marked by an H or L, it means the analysis result could exceed the upper or lower limit of the reference range. If you see star 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 as opposed to the result, it means the result is invalid. If you see plus 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 as opposed to the result, it means the result is out of the display range. The diff scattergram gives lymphocyte, monocyte, neutrophil, and eosinophil results. You may also see the scattergram from other angles for a better view of eosinophil, which helps better differentiate eosinophil from neutrophil even in high eosinophil samples.
The basso histogram gives the results of basophil as well as the total WBC count. The anemia flag indicates HCT is 10% lower than the lower limit of the hematocrit. And the thrombocytopenia flag indicates that the PLT is 25% lower than the PLT lower limit. BC5D is the QC for BC5000 VET. Its shelf life is 3 months, but you have to use it in 14 days after it's opened. After importing the QC file, BC5000 VET can load the target value, lot number, expiration date, level of QC automatically. You can download the QC file from MindRay's website or get it from your local MindRay representative. You may also input the QC target value manually. Run the QC through the sample probe in QC mode after mixing well. You may review the QC results in the LJQC graph to see if they are within range. SC Cal Plus is the calibrator of BC5000 VET. Its shelf life is one month, but you have to use it in seven days after it's opened. We recommend you to execute the calibration with the calibrator. You need to input the target value of the calibrator first. Then mix the calibrator tube well and run it through the sample probe. After running the calibrator five to ten times, you may get the new calibration factor. You are able to save it when the CV% percent value is within the reproducibility range. You may see the residual volume of regents on the software screen. When the residual regent volume is almost empty, it will be highlighted as red. BC 5000 VET will give an alarm when the regent has run out. Tap the regent you want to replace and then tap Setup. You may enter the region information manually or by scanning the barcode. If the barcode is valid, the corresponding region information will automatically display. Tap Apply to save the expiration date and start to replace the region. Click the shutdown button and select OK when the dialog box for prompting probe cleanser maintenance is displayed. Present probe cleanser to the sample probe, then press the aspirate key. The probe will aspirate the probe cleanser, then BC5000 VET will clean the whole system automatically. After shutdown finishes, the message, please turn off the power of the analyzer will be displayed. Press the power switch on the back of the instrument to power off. If you would like to keep BC5000 VET constantly running every day, you need to set up the time-based daily maintenance. BC5000 VET will prompt a reminder for a probe cleanser maintenance when needed. It has the same effect as shutdown maintenance.